In this video, we have the action from days 2 and 3 of the JB's Kenaparu Classic. If you're new to this channel, my name's Sean, and if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe. Every little bit helps. So that's enough of that, let's get into the spearfishing. Not a very big one. Unfortunately that would be our only action for day two. Despite our best efforts, diving numerous spots and diving hard all day, there just weren't any fish around. So eventually we got bored of it and I ended up playing with this puffer fish. Luckily for us, the tables were about to turn. We were greeted the next morning with the kind of day all sparrows dream of. We had glassy water, 15 metres viz, and the kingfish were back. It was Barks' birthday, so it was only fitting that he managed to shoot the first kingfish within the first five minutes of the dive. There you go, Barks with a nice kingfish this morning. First five minutes in the water. While I was filming Barks, Ryan got onto a fish too, so it was a mad rush back to the boat to swap the camera for a gun and see if I could get onto one myself. Swam back over to where they were dispatching the fish. Took a good breathe up, made a dive, and sure enough, the kingfish was still there. I think this one might be the biggest one of the trip, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the last day today of the uh, JB Snapper Classic and we've come out for a morning dive and we've managed three kingies on our first uh, first dive, which has been pretty awesome. Yeah, Buck's got into one pretty much straight away. Celebrated my 54th birthday Ooh, with birthday. a kingfish speared at 9.30 a.m. in 15 <laughs> metres of water. Look at that beauty. At this point it was only 10am and we had already landed three kingfish. Some of the guys were still interested in trying to shoot more kingfish, but I wanted something a bit different. I had my sights set on trying to shoot a snapper, a fish that is very rarely speared in the South Island.
it ended up being the usual story. The one that got away, the missed opportunity, they certainly got the better of me. We had time for one last spot before we would have to make the 35 mile journey back to the weigh-in. We came across a flock of gannets working, so we sent Jason and Barks in, and Barks came back with this awesome fish. Bucks and I went to the weigh-in that night with two very similar sized fish and without the proper gear on board we didn't actually know whose fish was bigger but my fish came out on top by the smallest of margins a mere five millimeters all that was separating me and Bucks's fish so I was stoked to win the spearfishing trophy and I can't wait to head back next year.